Yeah, like, yeah, like, seriously, like, what the hell just happened? So, apparently, our pet, Gomoroth, apparently has gone rogue, apparently, because now, uh, uh, now that, unfortunately, Jean's, so Jean's soul was basically stripped away, and is now in the hands of the underworld. Uh, but we'll get more in touch on that. Uh, the game explains that in a couple, in a couple minutes, but now we basically have to take out our own pet, who basically has rebelled against us. Yeah, but like I said, I mean, the game will explain more on that in a couple minutes. Yeah, and this boss fight right here can be a little bit difficult. Like I said, I'm playing this game on hard mode. So, I'm gonna be, I am going to be saying that every now and then. I'm on hard mode. It's a hell of a challenge because you do get uh, some exclusive items from the shop. And, yes, now that I have time to exp explain the, uh, the mechanics of this game. Yes, uh, your meter on the, bo on the, on the uh, top left... Are on the top left is your uh, that's your meter, that's your magic meter, which basically allows you to do combos or even tortures at times, depending if you're surrounded by a swarm of enemies. Uh, and the and you can control it by using the L button, uh, at any time. You can turn it off at any time, too, so you don't waste that much magic. But when it comes to these giant mook enemies, like these boss fights, you want to either conserve your magic or use it towards the end, or if you're struggling, you might want to use it before you die. Like, right now, I'm at half health right now, and and I believe that on all, all modes, even easy mode on this game, or normal mode, your health does not rep replenish, so what? So your health will stay the same as you go into transition to another boss fight, which... Which on the top right corner, we're on verse 3 already. So, when you go to different verses, your health does stay the same unless you pick up those uh, green her the green herb, basically, to give you uh, free health. But we already finished this boss fight right here. So, I'll touch... So, I'll join you in the next area right now after the, after the plot. Alright, peace. Lumen Sage. Is revenge not all you desire? I know the one who destroyed your world. I know the one who destroyed your love. Who? gonna wander inferno suffering for eternity dims the brakes i didn't ask you to tell me what i already know rodan especially if you're going to be flip about it you know better than that you're not the kind to let that sort of summon go out of control bayonetta something's up the balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right does it? You know, she's pretty hot for a dead chick. <laughs> you wasn't a big fan of her shit when she was in the realm of the living. But looking at her now... <sighs> nah, still not a fan. She's not dead, Enzo. She's right, Enzo. You're only really dead after your soul's been completely absorbed into another realm of the Trinity. But that's just a matter of time. 
because I don't see no way of saving a soul lost in hell. What about the gates? The real gates of hell? I can't stop you from trying to use them, but I don't think you got a chance down there. I'll see what I can do about putting her on ice for a while. You need this. The heart of an Umbra Witch. The magic that keep your kind alive in this world for eternities. Should keep her body in this realm stable, but you'll need to reunite this with her soul if you're gonna try and bring her back. I figure you got about a day before it's game over. Enzo, you've got a jet, right? What? No! No, 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 no! I do not know! Listen, I appreciate the situation, but you know what today is? My kids got cookies baked for me at home! They're waiting for me! And I still got a place Santa tonight! Let the real Santa take care of the presents. Now let's go! I said I believed, but Ed and Edna, you can't put one over on those two little fuckers, let me tell you. <laughs> hey! Let go! Let go of me! Why do I always get wrapped up in this shit? <laughs> Ain't this a motherfucker. The Sacred Mountain of Fimbleventer. The joint's supposed to be the link between Inferno and Paradiso. They say there is an entrance to Inferno, the gates of hell, somewhere on this mountain. No one knows where, though. Hell, no one even knows if it's true or not. The only reason this overgrown rock is worshipped like some god in the first place is that no one's ever been able to get close to the damn thing. It's like it don't want you there. Every climber ends up stranded or worse. And don't even try to fly a plane near that place, or bada boom! But at least your soul doesn't have a long walk to whichever afterlife you got lined up, right? I'll wait for you in no until at the foot of the mountain. Just hurry up with whatever it is you gotta do and get back there, all right? And the hotel's going on your account, with a mini bar too. Gotta keep myself busy while I'm waiting. Forget about it. Uh, I love those miniature drinks. I can't believe you, Enzo. I didn't know the in-flight service was exclusive to fat Italians. Ren, the plane ain't free, you know. That reminds me, you owe Alex the kid for the charter. Whoa! That's Fimbleventer. Not such a bad place when you look at it. Oh, but you gotta have a death wish to get close to that damn place if you ask me. Wow. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. What the hell? Where did these clouds come from? What the fuck? Sorry, Enzo. This is where I get off. Say hi to the wife and kids for me. What? 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 Wait! What? You're joking, right? I can't fly this piece of shit! Oh! I told you I can't have nice things! John, I'm on my way. Just behave yourself for a bit longer. 
All right, now we're officially in the first chapter of the game because that uh, opening was actually the epilogue or whatever you like to call it. So now we're in the real adventure of this game. Now we're in No In Tune, where basically we have to make our way to Fimble Benter uh, just to find the entrance uh, to Inferno. Yeah, so right now, what I'm showing off right now is uh, this area right here. This is where you uh, where you would either farm for for hearts or you would farm for uh, moon pearls. Those are basically the two upgrades you would get here uh, for free, actually. Yeah, and they do have different objectives here and there, like defeat all enemies. Some have missions like defeat all enemies in a time limit. Some have missions where you can't get hit at all. And playing this game on hard mode, that's kind of difficult at times. And the reward's always going to be the same. And all these areas. And no, you cannot go back in here and get the same uh, item if that's what you think. Like, right now, we're, get, we're just going to pick up a, a witch heart. And you need four witches heart to get your meter to, uh, your health meter to, uh, to increase. So right now, we're going to pick up uh, one of four pieces. And we picked up a pure platinum metal. Nice. Yeah, oh, broken witch heart. Yeah, you need four to get a full witch heart in order to get your your health meter to move. Uh, uh yes, uh, in later parts, I am gonna uh, edit these out, right? You know, I'm right now, I'm just showing it off just for the sake of showing it off. So, yes, this game does have a lot of resemblances to Sonic Unleash, in my honest opinion. You know, the only difference is this game's combat is fucking ten times better than Unleashed. Uh... And it does have a lot of resemblances, like you saw the opening, uh, when you saw the opening scene right there, we're basically on an airplane. Uh, let's be honest, it was basically the, t uh, the tornado from Sonic, and that Alex the Kid reference, a uh, nice throwback to Sega's original mascot before Sonic took over, and Alex the Kid basically become became forgotten about, just like the Sega Master System. Yeah, so... Yeah, so our main object um, adventure here is just to get through these chapters, you know, just go left and right, you know, that's a that, that's about it. And these books we pick up, eh, we don't bother reading them, I mean, what's the point? It's just waste time, so let's just move along. Yeah, and there are upgrades here that we get, you know, like, you know, lollipops here, like green herb lollipops. There are other ones that, there are other lollipops that power up our abilities. However, if you use too many lollipops, it does affect your ranking. Uh, which I've noticed, especially in the final boss fight. So, yes, the ranking system here is similar to Sonic Unleashed, where you have to defeat all enemies in a certain time, and you gotta hit a certain amount of combos, and uh, you can't get hit, obviously. Like, if you don't get hit, it's safe to assume that you will get the Platinum uh, Medal. Yeah, basically, a pure Platinum Medal is almost the, it's the equivalent of getting a S rank. Either an S rank or an S, yeah, at least above above an S rank. A regular platinum medal is an S rank, and a gold medal is almost like either an A rank or a B rank, one of the one of the uh, one or above. And the bronze medal is the equivalent of getting a C rank, and of course, getting the uh, stone med the stone medal is almost the equivalent of getting an E rank. I mean, at least they give you something, so don't th don't think they don't give you anything. Alright, yeah, you do get other upgrades like this. They don't really basically do much. And since we're an Umbra, uh, an Umbra Witch, uh, we can make uh, our own items by collecting, like, let's say, for example, we collect, like, eight tiny, you know, herbs and mix them with other ingredients to make a uh, herb, uh, a green herb lollipop to give us power. So we do have access to that. If you want to farm items like that, you can. You just have to beat the level. You can come... You just have to beat the stage uh, once and you can backtrack here and then farm for as m many uh, items as you want. However, for Broken Witch Hearts and Moon Pearls, you can't. Once you get them, they're basically yours. Yeah, so the Moon Pearl, basically, uh, you have to get two Moon Pearls in order to get the magic meter to increase. So you can hold up more magic. So again, we're fighting these enemies again. And right here, we have to show off uh, Witch Time. Yeah, Witch Time is basically very overpowered in this game. Uh, Witch Time basically allows you to press the R button to dodge attacks. It's really easy to it's really easy to do, you know. But you have to time it right. You have to time it uh, right. And if you're pay playing this game on the Nintendo Switch, I highly recommend you play this game using a Pro Controller or using uh, 
uh, yeah, using a pro controller because the Nintendo Wii U, uh, the gamepad does do the does do the trick. So does the uh, the pro controller. It's because you have to have good pre position and timing on using the R button in order to dodge attacks like that. Because playing this game on portable mode on the Switch, it's very difficult uh, to spam witch time because you're because the uh, the ZR but uh, the ZR button can be hard to trigger at times. That's why in the Switch version, I always recommend playing this game in uh, in dock mode. I mean, you could play it on portable mode, but if you're trying to go for a higher ranking, uh, I wouldn't highly recommend it. Cause it's gonna be hard to dodge. Yeah. So right now we're moving a little bit slow underwater. I understand. You know, we do get another ability later in the game, which allows us to move super fast. And there's a green herb uh, lollipop. It's small, but it gives us a little bit of health. And we and then we can activate our items by using the the D pad. Uh, using our deep, uh, the default D-pad. So that's good to know. Alright, so... We have more enemies right here. Like, Bayonetta 2 right now, like... If you want a real difficult challenge... You know, the, the best way to play this game that a lot of speedrunners play, or a lot of hardcore fans play, is they want to do a no-hit run. Which basically means you gotta do all the verses, get the high- get- get all platinum medals, and your final result is getting the pure platinum trophy. Like that's one of the hardest challenges to do, especially the final uh the final chapter. All right, we picked up a pure platinum medal. All right, now we're going to run into Rodan. It's basically going to explain uh the shop for us. So I'll join you in a few seconds uh, after this. All right. Santa don't get paid enough for this shit. When Ed and Edna found that daddy wasn't coming back, Made me stay all the way through dinner. Don't pretend you weren't delighted. I hear Enzo's wife makes a lovely casserole. It was damn good. I give you that. Anyway, tell me how my babies are doing. They're behaving quite well. They found plenty of playmates here. Figured they would. Noah Tune had some deep connections with Thimble Venter in the Gates of Hell back in its day. Wouldn't be surprised to find a few of those playmates that like it rougher than the typical bunch. Anyway, you need any supplies, just make sure you keep bringing me these halos. And remember, I ain't here to get up in your business. My business is making things that do business. So don't come crying to me when you... You, you think you gotta do everything alone? I'm here to help. Just make sure you don't bust a cap in my ass. Welcome to the gates of hell. We've lit our prices on fire, so there won't be hell to pay. <laughs> Come on, I gotta say some cheesy shit sometimes. <laughs> 